Hello everyone, I'm Matt Kyo at Auto Modified Channel. Welcome to my channel everyone. And uh, how's everyone doing today? How's your day? Today is my day and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do a uh, repair um, on a 428 uh, 98 Eclipse 428 uh, 2.0 liter non turbo. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do a uh, repair on the cam caps hole threads here um, the right way. Okay, so uh, first thing you need is all the tools that uh, you need, you would need for this type of repair. Um, and uh, remember guys, this is aluminum, so be extra careful uh, when you work on it, repairing the uh, cam caps uh, hole thread here. So I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm going to introduce you uh, with some of the uh, tools and the uh, helicoid kits that I bought online uh, to uh, do this type of repair, okay? So I'm going to view you guys in a little bit, show you uh, while I'm uh, demonstrating uh, presenting the uh, work <coughs> repairing the uh, cam caps uh, holes here with the helicoid kit okay what you want to need is purchase and buy a uh, uh, helicoid kit online on I bought it on eBay and it's about uh, 15 to 20 dollars and they have a variety of it you can choose a kit or just uh, an M6 tab here uh, here, okay, and a uh, little bit about the cylinder head that um, uh, I'm repairing the uh, I'm repairing the uh, the cylinder head uh, cam caps hole, okay. So the cam caps hole, uh, the cam caps holding the uh, uh, cam shaft, uh, like. Here's, uh, here's an example. I put some of the cam caps on this side of the cam here on, uh, but I'm repairing this side. Um, uh, I need to repair maybe uh, about uh, eight hoses uh, on the cam caps. So uh, I'm repairing this side first, a couple of holes, and then I'll go through the this side of the camshaft and see uh, whatever holes that need to repair. Uh, so it's about eight holes or so that they might need to repair. Might be less than that. Um, so just want to let you guys know that uh, it, this is uh, you repairing an M6 hole thread. All right, it's a it's an M8 bolt. You need to use an M8 metric uh, bolt socket to loosen the bolt. But the bolt actually itself is an M6 uh, on the thread. Okay, so you might want to look for an M6. Uh, Helicoid repair kit. All right. So here I have the kit. It's an M6 Helicoid kit, and uh, this is important right here uh, that you need a STI M6 HSS. Okay. It's an STI M6 HSS. Now all you need is all you probably need, need is just this tab. All right. You don't need the whole kit. You can actually uh, let me introduce you uh, within the kit what I have in here. The helicoid repair kit has uh, the STI M6 HSS tapping. Uh, there's the tapping, and uh, uh, there's a drill. It's a 6.3 HSS drill. All right, you might you might need this too. This is kind of important. Um, if you're not buying a, the whole kit, those are the two the most important that you need. And of course, you will need uh, the uh, helicoids. Okay, here's our. I bought the kids like 25 pieces of helicoids in here. So it's an M6 helicoids. Okay, I'll show you uh, how to work in a minute. Um, and here's the tool. This this is the tool that uh, actually you will need to uh, put the helicoid and then uh, turn screw in the helicoid down to the down to the. Uh, the uh, threads hole, okay. You you don't need to have this. I mean, you do need to have this, but you don't need to buy a kit with this. You can make this tool here, so you don't really need to buy this tool. You can actually make it uh, with a uh, regular uh, uh, 
Phillips driver with the same side of this and then you just cut it to make it uh, where they have a middle uh, middle line right there so all it is all this tool is just to um, I'll show you guys with one of the helicoid that this tool will do so all this tool is just see the helicoid now the helicoid right here it has the middle see that middle part the little notch that notch is when you put this tool in see this how this tool look like it's easy to make you can make it with a regular fillip cut it and then you grind it or cut it right in the middle make that line there and all it is is just to screw you see just put it through the helicoid and that's the middle part right there and to hold it while you turn it down to the hole thread and thread it down to the hole uh, after you repairing it okay so you can make this tool the next tool on the kit you don't really need to buy it. the whole kit that's the thing that uh, I'm telling you guys you don't need to buy a whole kit you can just buy um, the uh, the tap and the drill if you have the drill you know that's all you would need and this is a, a little uh, hammer tool so after you uh, uh, have the helicoid, the helicoid down to the hole then you use this tapping hammer to hammer it down and it will it will bang this notch out in the middle after you uh, repair and it will be done after you do it so this is the last tool that you will need and you don't need to buy this tool you can make this tool you know just use a regular um, uh, Phillip screwdriver a Phillip and you know with the same side and then just cut it and make it make that hammer tool easily and uh, here's in the kit it has 25 helicoid okay so 25 helicoid within that kit and that kit is pretty cheap it's only 15, uh, 15 to 20 bucks uh, so I'm going to show you how to use the tool the rest of it the next thing you will need is this <laughs> this T handle wrench uh, for M uh, for metric or SAE but it's called a, a T handle wrench alright this you definitely do need this tool this is this tool here the T handle wrench and the two uh, driver that I just show you the STI M6 HSS tab and the drill 6.3 HSS these are the main three tools that you need same with the helicoid uh, to work with this job here um, this is called a T handle wrench so you actually I'm going to show you the hole demonstrating uh, how to repair uh, the cam caps hole here in a minute um, so you take a STI M6 HSS tapping you put it through here you see okay this is how you use a T handle wrench so this is one of the big ones so if you do buy it buy this kind don't buy the little uh, turning regular you know the regular T tap this is too small use the big one like this one I bought I bought this uh, T handle wrench uh, within my uh, um, 80 piece. Uh, I bought it from Harbor Freight Tool. It comes with uh, 80 piece <coughs> um, SAE and metric uh, tapping, and it comes with die. It's it's called a uh, 80 piece die and tap set kit. So I bought that. That's like 40 bucks, and it's lifetime warranty. It's uh, alloy steel too. So that's pretty good. I can return it if it breaks or so. It's lifetime warranty. But this T handle wrench comes with that die set tapping kit. All right, it's 80 piece at Harbor Freight Tool. You can you can uh, find it online or eBay if you can, but there's no guarantee on lifetime warranty. I have a lifetime warranty on that. 
So you do need to have this, and then take the STI M6 HSS um, tab, put it through here, put it onto this uh, T handle wrench, and put it like, you see how it is? Don't go over it. It's square. It's square looking. Don't go over it. Just, just put it on within the square part onto the uh, T handle wrench here. Okay, and it has to match with the square part. Okay, then you just then you just turn it in. Okay, tighten it, tighten it in place. Tighten the tapping in place onto the T wrench, T handle wrench. So here is tight, and it should look like this, straight on. Okay, make sure it's tight, both sides. Okay.